Hi, hello, good morning students. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to understand how girdling experiment is performed. Girdling experiment is also called ringing experiment. First of all, why girdling experiment is done? It is to prove that phloem transports food downwards. That is from the leaf where they prepare food to the root. How girdling is done? Take a tree that is dicot tree and remove a ring of bark around its stem. What is uh, what we are removing when we are removing a ring of bark? To know that let us know the anatomy of a dicot stem. Dicot stem as you know in the middle it has got secondary xylem which will form wood hard wood so hard wood is surrounded by one more layer of secondary xylem which is called sap wood it is the one which will be conducting water water transport is always upwards that is from root to stem it cannot transport downwards hence that green color region represent the xylem which is involved in conduction wood is not involved in conduction then next to uh, secondary xylem during secondary growth you have learned that there is vascular cambium outer to vascular cambium that means somewhere here outer to vascular cambium whatever tissues are present it is called bark next immediately after vascular cambium you will find secondary phloem then comes the primary phloem and all the other layers like uh, uh, there is cortex there is uh, uh, periderm which is formed during secondary growth so this is a bark portion red and blue color now which portion i have to girdle girdling refers to removing portion of a bark where i will be removing these portions now this is a girdled tree so what i am doing is when I am removing bark, I am removing the innermost layer of bark. I am removing innermost layer of bark is phloem. So phloem has been cut now. Okay, so this is a girdled region now. Now this tree, if it is allowed to live for a particular period of time, then what can we observe? We can observe that tree dies because of girdling. What may be the reason and what is happening when we do girdling? Since we are removing bark along with bark innermost layer of phloem we have removed, food can be transported only up till girdled region. So whatever food is coming from the leaf will come only till the girdled region it get it may get stored at the uh, region where there is girdling hence solen appearance we can observe so lower parts won't get food but what about sap sap is conducted through xylem we have not touched xylem at all so xylem will be taking sap plant will get sap but food won't be uh, food won't come to the lower parts that is to the region of root hence root dies because of the lack of food this is called girdling experiment what can we understand we can understand that phloem is the one which is transporting food hence because phloem has been cut lower part won't be getting food that is confirmed another thing is xylem is involved in uh, conduction of sap upper part leaves because it is getting sap as well as food so this is about girdling experiment now the question can come why in monocots it is not possible to do girdling remember the anatomy of monocots they have scattered vascular bundle which means xylem and phloem are not present in the form of ring as it is seen in the dicot instead it is seen in the scattered form uh, everywhere in the uh, ground tissue hence even if you remove one ring you are you won't be able to ring, uh, remove the uh, remove all the phloem present in the monocots therefore girdling is not possible in uh, monocots 
So that is about girling experiment. I hope you have liked it. If you have liked it, please click the like button. Thank you for watching.